Hey there, welcome back to our DynoBot configuration series. Today we're diving into the nitty gritty of action logs. I'm your noob moderator, and if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon for more content on mastering DynoBot. Now, if you're serious about managing your Discord server effectively, setting up action logs is an absolute must. It's like having a surveillance camera that records everything that happens within your server. Right now I'm on testing server, I'll create a channel named Dino Logs. Here all the logs of Dino will be stored. If you want your server members to have access to this channel and can see who deleted their message or left, you can leave this channel as it is but in my case, I want this channel access just to me. Head over to settings and select the permissions tab, select everyone and then remove the view channel permission. With this only I can have access to this channel. Let's jump right into it. First things first, head over to your Dino dashboard. In my previous video, I showed how to add a Dino bot to your server, so I'm skipping that step. If you want to see how to add a Dino bot to your server, refer to that video. Now let's head over to your Dino dashboard and navigate to the modules tab. Here you'll find a plethora of options, but today we're focusing on the action log module. Simply toggle the switch to enable the action log module. Once that's done, you'll notice a bunch of customizable options. This is where the magic happens. Now let's configure our action log settings. Click on the settings button next to the module. Here, you can choose which actions you want Dino to log. From message deletions to role changes, you have full control. Make sure to tailor these settings according to your server's needs. It's all about finding the right balance between oversight and clutter. Next up, you'll want to specify where you want these logs to be stored. Click on the log channel option and select the channel where you want Dino to dump all the juicy details. I recommend creating a dedicated channel for action logs to keep things organized. Plus, it makes it easier to review and track down any suspicious activities. As you can see in message events, we have many options from message delete to message edit. I'll just select all of them. Next up, you can see member events. Here you can see who joined your server and left. Next is role events. If any of your admin creates or deletes a role here, you can check. Moving forward is channel events, where you can see who deleted or created a channel in your server. If you want the events happening in a specific channel not to get logged, add that channel in the ignored channel. If you want any specific role for which logs don't get logged, add that role here. In my case, I think both of these options are useless for my server, so I'll just leave it blank. Once you've configured, Dino will start moderating your server according to your settings. Let's test it. So I'm right now on my alt account and I'll send a message in the server. For example, hello, this is a testing and send it. Now I'm gonna delete it. Also, I'm gonna send another message, hey, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and join our server. Now I'll edit the same message to hey, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and join our server, Risington University. Let's see with my main account if Dino logged all the logs in Dino Logs channel or not. As you can see, Dino showed me that a message was deleted by this user and another message was edited by the same user. And there you have it, folks. That's how you set up Action Log module using DinoBot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and make sure to press that bell icon and do comment. Your comments motivate me to make more of these such videos. I'll add my server invite link in description box, so don't forget to join now. Thank you for your time.